Hello, 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 and welcome to episode two of Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, in the last episode, we got introduced to all four of the Guardians, all four of the Guardians, all five of the Guardians, um, and we began our mission to enter the quarantine zone to track down a monster. Um, the intention being to make a shed load of money, I assume. Um, yeah, so far, so good. Uh, a little bit of a hitch on the tutorial, but um, like... Uh, with the lock-on specifically, which does not seem like a good lock-on. Um, it doesn't really function very well, in my opinion, but that's just me. Right, let's move on. Uh, we're also uh, kicking Rocket's butt at destroying uh, maggots, which is great for me. Right. He's right leading there. the way again, though, which is... Ooh. Of course it's secure. As secure as a broke-down Shatari shipwreck's ever gonna be. Should be good. No, Rocket. Rocket. Rocket, you're cheating. Rocket, you're going fast. <laughs> oh, he's he's gonna win through. Look, look, I can see them. Yes, the resin can hold a stupid warship. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's totally safe. Oh, I see, can I'll see the prove. things I'm meant to I, shoot. Look at this. Rocket. Uh oh. oh Oh, they did not jump. Well, that's not good. I'm going to go out on a limb and say he's probably fine. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Can you imagine? They just kill Groot in the first, like, five minutes. <laughs> Where are we in relation to the maggot things we're meant to be shooting? Son of a Aww. Cute. Come on, Coral. He says I'll meet us at the mining ship. I don't want to make him wait. That's it? You're not going after him? I see them. We'll meet him later. Team Rocket, is everything okay? Let's see how this went down. Rocket. His radio must have broke when he fell. Rocket. rocket knocked an old shipwreck off balance and we lost Groot. What? Always Rocket. I didn't do nothing. It fell on its own. And Groot's fine. Team Rocket out. Team Rocket out. Why'd you have to go and tell Green Team the accident's my fault? Are they deliberately... Groot's fine uh... anyways. There's nothing to worry about. Not like I could have prevented that old rusted ship from keeling over. Whatever, right? Like you said, Groot's fine. Everything is fine. Exactly. We're all fine. Sure, sure. Fine. Wait, you're not allowed to shoot at things. <laughs> I have to win. That's how this works. Hey, what's grosser than ten Shatari nailed to a ship? I don't know. What? One Shatari nailed to ten ships. Oh, damn. Man! That's if that afterburner <laughs> on right now, we'd be toast. Let's hope it don't. Because we have to find a way through this thing. Mining ships on the other side of that turbine, so we gotta find a way through. Try not to jump on anything this time. Groot's not there to grab you if you... Well, oh. either shut up or help me figure out how these blades open. Well, we probably have to go into the... Into the vent? Yeah. There's a drone access tunnel over here. Too bad we don't got a drone. You're a drone. Can you squeeze in there? <laughs> Knew it. Yes, Rocket, you can. The thing. Rocket, clean up the mess. Rocket, crawl into the mystery hole. <laughs> the See mystery anything? hole. Yeah, a manual override. Team Rocket, we hit a snag. One of our thunder points was covered in resin, so we're going to fly around to get another spot. Just make sure the new spot is as close as possible to the original one. Because of uh, maps and angles. Great. Another turbine. Yeah, that is how these things are usually built. Floor! It's stuck on something! Pew! Pew! <laughs> He's pew pewing. Love it. Someone's been practicing. He says boop as well. I feel I feel like Star Lord is just me. Like I'm just I am Star Lord. <laughs> Come on! Let's get out of here. Oop. Yep, he has my platforming skills too. Jankily grabbing onto things that he shouldn't be. The mining ship ain't too far. 
Think Groot's Ooh. already ahead of us? That was Maybe. Hope he didn't get distracted. I've been thinking about buying him a leaf. He spots something <laughs> shiny. <laughs> oh. It wasn't me this time, I swear. <laughs> One for me. That point don't count if we're dead. Ow. Good sense of momentum. Larkin, son of a... I told you I saw them. Great timing. <laughs> How did you guys... Good to see you two. We're going to want to cross the ship as fast as you can. Oh, this is cool. Good job. We're seeing a lot of movements. Yeah, Scott's getting real violent out here. Uh, just try to hold her still for us. That's not going to be an option soon. This position is untenable. Tracks have incoming. Oh. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, this is cool. I like the effects on the debris and stuff as it hits stuff. Did they put anything for me to shoot here? I'm not flocking around. You are. <laughs> Team Rocket every time. Are we gonna? Are they gonna say Team Rocket's blasting off again at any point? Oh, we're playing. My visor went supernova. Is it broken? Overloaded. Sounds like. Must be some kind of residual energy in here. Oh, come on, Lark and Tensor joint. Just neat. Uh, wiggle the. Uh, Sounds like he's over in the direction I'm looking at the moment. Come on, am I right? Is he over here? Ah. Ha. Uh, what is that? <laughs> Looks kind of like an infinity stone. <laughs> it is an infinity stone. Jesus. Quill, you okay? Yeah, yeah, it's just... Man. Interesting. Um, are we are we fighting art? Is that what we're going up against? That's concerning. Yeah. Wow. That was interesting. What was that? Uh, it's, it's it's a swarm of old cleaner bots. Maybe. Is anything we fight going to have a face? Because <laughs> everything so far has just been like an. An artistically interpreted shape. <laughs> Ooh, cool. It's cool lighting, like shots. It's got to be group, right? Not going well, are we just leaving the infinity stone? I mean, I guess Sorry, we have to. Shoot. Yeah, thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw we saw some cleaner bots <laughs> accidentally here at a distance. <laughs> we're totally all right, it just ran away when it saw us, right? Quill, <laughs> yep, just a freaky floating creature, nothing to worry about. Oh, and speaking Oops. of freaky creatures, want to bet green oh, teams having trouble sick. parking the ship. I think I'm done with uh, bets for today. Yeah, you and me both. Let's just get to the rendezvous point. Uh, nobody won. It was just an excuse to shoot stuff. You know what? We're going to keep the designs from the game rather than switch to the, like, the movie 
outfits, just because, like, I think... It would suck I think... to get busted in here, you know, with just one exit. Is that supposed to make me feel better? I think they've put a lot of effort into the character designs, and, uh, you know, I don't want to just be like, oh, it's got to be exactly like the movie. I don't actually know if this is, uh, like, a collectible area, or if this is the main path. We're gonna go back as well, because I'm pretty sure there were some, uh, some things on the ground floor. Yeah, there we go. So I I'm not sure whether we should always collectible hunt or whether we should only do it sometimes. Cause I, I, I don't want to like draw hey, out the playthrough too much. Somewhere safe. Guys, <clears throat> here you go. Rendezvous coordinates are that way, but we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. Green team okay. better be showing up soon. <laughs> You didn't see them? Don't actually know if I have to push anything. Look at this old beauty. I am a table. This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can ah. fix up your gear. Hey, and this is where we spend the, the things. Okay, cool. It's all coming together now. With Rocket's help, use a workbench to craft perks. Available perks are displayed when you activate it. Each perk requires specific components to craft. Cool. Available perk. You have enough components to craft this perk. Hold X to ask Rocket to craft it. Uh, top corner, this is the amount of each crafting component you have. Yep, worked that one out. Okay, negate cooldown periods due to element guns overheating. Um, yeah, I think we're probably going to get that straight and away. It's done. Um, we are also going to get that straight away. It's all yours. All right, is there anything else that we can get? Oh, tactical scan. Scan enemies during combat with the combat visor. Oh, glide around targets for a short time whilst shooting. I quite like that. We're going to do that. As a matter of fact, should we just get everything we can? Yeah. One shiny upgrade, nice and crafty. Um, cool. Uh, oh, avoid falling prone by dashing when hit with a knockdown blow. Okay, we probably want that too. We'll get that at some point. Uh, okay, cool. So there's, there's a quite a lot here. Uh, quickly pressing R2 twice charges a shot. That's another good one. Maybe. Guess it depends how much damage it deals, but... So... Okay, can, and you can divide it into sections for, like... Okay, okay. I like this. This is a nice little upgrade system. Like, there's a little bit of choice here and there, so, like, I could have gotten things in a slightly different order. And, yeah, you sort of have to decide what you're going for. I might make myself a bit more tanky, maybe. Like, as quickly as I can. Just, like, so I don't die during missions, basically. Uh, your visor is now, now able to scan enemies in combat. Scanning an enemy provides clues as to how to defeat them. Time slows down whilst you're scanning an enemy. That's helpful. I'm glad. Um, yeah, there's a way through, if we can clear out that crud. Uh, yeah! That's gonna explode. Oh, okay, there's a tactical reload. Try that quick cooldown I installed, so you can keep pelting it. Okay. Okay. So, you... so it's, it's all on one button, basically. Um, oh, it's now explaining it. Uh, so firing repeatedly causes overheating. Upon overheating, green zones appear on the cooldown gauge. By pressing R2 with the marker in this zone, cancel, cancels the overheat. So, yeah. Oh, and you deal extra damage. Awesome. Alright, let's squeeze our way out of here. Oh, after you. Uh, no, you go first. Oh, can't see. And, uh, was this supposed to happen? Okay, there we go. Uh, this we have to drop down. I'm guessing we don't have a choice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it still doesn't have a face. Thing I've ever seen. 
Okay, melee attacks seem to do pretty good against these things. Ooh, drop kick. Okay. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Uh, like once again, these enemies do not have faces. Stuff to mine. What was um, it? I don't know. Weird QB hunks of rock or metal. <laughs> um, looks like cubes of meat, but it's whatever, I guess. Okay. Trying my best not to miss any, like collectibles and stuff, but I have a feeling I'm gonna. I have located some old equipment, but I do not see you. This whole place is old equipment. That does not narrow my search. Oh, he was describing the environment, not the, uh, not the enemies. My bad. Okay, I think that's where we're meant to be going. Which means we're going to... Got something. I wonder if Rocket knows what this is. It looks like it goes on to swans. It's like a shoulder support of an exoskeleton or something. Watch as it is absolutely not that. It could be like a chest piece of armor or something. Or it could just be like a... You know, I need to stop the hypothesizing and just wait for them to tell me what it is later. Oh. A spinal control unit. Boom, it goes on your back. Around probably... Oh, uh, okay. It goes the opposite way around to how I thought, I think. Okay, what do we got? Okay, there's some things over there. Anything hidden? Yep. Boom. Did you get a reasonable number of the crafting components? Oh. Still no face. Oh, it put me down here. Stagger bar. Some enemies have a stagger bar, making them much more resistant to damage. Their stagger bar is always placed below their health bar. Filling it completely will momentarily cripple them. Ow. Oh, I did it wrong. Hide behind me. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Ooh. Drax the Destroyer. Drax is a durable brawler, able to take out, take on many enemies at once. He specializes in staggering enemies and imper impervious to regular attacks. His basic ability, Destroy, deals light damage and heavy stagger. Okay, cool. So he's like a knock things down. Oh, oh, here comes Gamora. My turn. Find out what she does now. Uh, use her deadly strike. Ooh. Get the point. Okay. Oh, wow, she just straight up kills. Uh, Gamora, the deadliest woman in the galaxy. Gamora is a skilled assassin who swiftly eliminates targets. She delivers quick, high damage attacks. Her basic ability, Deadly Strike, deals heavy damage to a single enemy. Okay, so... <laughs> people are probably going to hate on me for saying this, but... <laughs> I kind of feel like they should do a crossover with the Marvel's Avengers game. And just have these Guardians of the Galaxy show up, and then just make them playable characters. Like, they don't even need to do, like, a full story for them. Just sort of have them, like, show up for, like, a... I don't know, one limited time boss battle or something. And then afterwards, they're just available forever. Because, like, Gamora especially would, like, fit right in. Like, I mean, but, you know, they all would. You could even do, like, Groot and Rocket as one character if you wanted to, with, like, Groot riding on Rocket's... Uh, with Rocket riding on Groot's shoulders. Something like that. 
Um, but like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Be an easy way for them to put new content into that game because by God, it needs it. Um, and just, you just to be cool. Oh. Cool Sound and save. Hey. Go on ahead, Ben. We'll catch up. Just making a. Come on, cut. Certain I parked the Milano objects. near the last thumper spot. Probably that. We'll head that way and keep an eye out for you. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It's a possibility. Maybe try something else. I think I have to wait. I could make oh. it up there, but we're gonna. Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this. So physically <laughs> impossible. So far, I um, I do agree with the sort of the general feeling that this game is like better than Marvel's Avengers. Like okay. already, the quality Sorry, feels higher. Drax, any um, I am debating whether to employ the Kershagar lunge to subdue our monster, and whether that would be inadvertently fatal. I mean, for our current problem. <laughs> First, we must find a way to climb up. Drax. Think you can have that container? Behold, the I want the, the collectible the that is up here. Can you move it over there? Shall be done. Um, with that being said, I do still think that Marvel's Avengers is a good game. Um, it just needs like a lot of work done to it to make it really good. Um, well, that's helpful. It is. She's so critical. Not all of us are so quick to disobey. Make up your mind. Are you mad I served Thanos or that I betrayed him? Neither inspire confidence. Heave ho, Drax. To where shall I move it? <laughs> to where? Probably here. I am on my way. Not sure if that was uh, optimal. Probably not. Wait. Could we... Remember this moment should you ever think of crossing me, assassin. I'll remember how slow What's up here is the question. I just I just Ah, uh, should we get him to move it again? Need your muscles again, We're doing Drax. It. You can put it down here. Done. I feel like I wanna see what's up here. <clears throat> he looks ridiculous carrying it. up here. Oh, is there nothing up here? Well, I feel dumb. Collectible to shoot? Is that a thing that can happen? Oh, I'm assuming that's our way out, maybe? Oh, no, there's... Okay, there's, like, something uh, to collect in that hole, I think. You want some more stuff for me, Drax? Here looks good. Shall be done. Hurry. I love that Gamora's already up there as well. Did she even use the block? <laughs> I feel like she just sort of like ninjaed her way up there. All right, rocket. We're back on track. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, good for you. Good for you. It ain't stealing if it's abandoned. We. Oh, fuck. Rocket. Not now, Quill. Whoa. Okay. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks they like. They want to go that way. The I think, so we're going this way. Vague. It wasn't vague. It was rushed. It's probably some cute little nightmarish abomination. <laughs> Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. My little Camaria and her mother Hovat. Two of the strongest people who ever lived. With a name like Hellbent or Gamora's probably right. It's gotta be something scary. Nightmarish. A proper apex predator. Snarling and nasty. More teeth than all of us combined. Bat-like wings with razor tips. Probably spits poison or acid. Or acidic poison. I hope all these are true. I yearn for a <laughs> challenge. <laughs> That's great. They've nailed the like the vibe of all of the guardians like straight away. Like, um, you guys yeah. notice anything weird about this place? You mean besides the Tom going death no reason? There was a reason. We collided with that column of scrap. You what? I was dodging a hailstorm of flaming debris. Can we make and the cops went out before that. We actually can. I actually thought I'd messed that up for a second there, but 
You know what? I hadn't. I need to have more faith in myself. Oh no. <laughs> Alrighty. Why do you think the monster was drawn to this ship of all places? Sustenance, no doubt. Maybe the ship's engines are still for vibrating that. after all these cycles. Or they draw sustenance from something that is leaking. Radiation could explain our comm problems. Perhaps they are scavenging Ow. old food stores for sustenance. Hungry Drax? Yes. <laughs> That'll be my shields recharging, that little noise there. Probably. Wait, did we... Wait. Were that just stairs down? I just ignored the stairs down? Of course I did. I wouldn't be me if I... Oh. Lady Hellbender could become an influential ally. How so? They say that the mere mention of her name... Oh my gosh. ...end a negotiation. You want to turn the Guardians of the Galaxy into an extortion racket? Okay. We're... I'm... <laughs> I want people to offer us bigger tasks because they fear her wrath. Same thing, Drax. Ugh. I've never been a fan of games that do like um, like big paragraphs that you have to read just to get a little bit of extra lore. I mean, like I'm sure for the people who like love that kind of thing, then um, it's great. But. I don't know, like. See the remains of the planet after one of these things, mind it. Oh, mind I'm just going. Go. Got to be an enemy. Yeah. We got company. I was just about to say these enemies have faces, but it was uh, it wasn't an enemy. Whoa. Just had to sneeze very, very loudly. <laughs> how do we? Wait, they're all dead. I don't know how to help them. Oh, okay. What's a huddle? When your huddle gauge is full, trigger the huddle with L1 and R1. Actions you perform in battle build up your huddle gauge. When filled, call a huddle to reset the odds. Is that? Okay, I think this is about to get awkward because there's meant to be music. Okay, we've still got music. They're everywhere, laughing at us. And yet, we cannot retreat. No one wants to retreat, big guy, but I gotta say, it's fucking scary out there, Quill. Laugh in the face of danger. Danger on all sides. It's time we stand and face it. This is good music. Really Are suits. heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead! Who's with me? Feel this! Oh man, it's gonna go silent now, isn't it? Because it's gonna be a licensed track. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. Huddles have three possible outcomes. You motivated the team by answering correctly. Both you and your guardians get a damage boost. Had you chosen wrong, only you would have gotten it. Win, lose, or say nothing. All guardians are resurrected. Cool. Head on a swivel. Quiet down. You're at point of off, rocket. Toss him around. You did not know the lyrics. Yeah, there's like no. Oops, I wasn't paying attention. So that, that's very frustrating. Um, I wish... I wish that they'd put some, like, non-licensed music in place of the music that they use for the team huddle. Excuse me? Because as it is at the moment, like, a team huddle kind of just kills the mood, which is a little bit annoying. Whereas obviously in the game, it's supposed to be like a... We'll need a good staging spot for the last bumper. I'll know it when I see it. What happens if I scan? 
rocket can hack. Cool. Ba, ba, ba. Like still got some juice. Give it a go, rocket. Watch a genius at work. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that that uh, hubble mode at the end. I mean, I basically said what I wanted to say, but this tech was uh. built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never been a problem for Quill. Ah, <laughs> damn, harsh. Oh, can we not? Oh, yep, we can. I don't think there's anything for me to even get. To meet this monster. Remember, we take it alive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping that wouldn't pause it, but uh, just checking the time. <laughs> this is it. Last spot. Can't wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah, don't worry, sunshine. <laughs> Ow! Is it, uh, doing it? What? It appears to be broken! Ain't nothing broke! That's the sound it's supposed to make! What Wait, what? You can't hear oh, that! Okay. Hear what? Oh. Oh, does this one have a face? Looks like it might. It looks like a llama. Or an alpaca. I think. Um, wait. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Like a hot knife. Okay, everyone's on cooldown. Oh wait, can I? Brutes, go. And I just got a trophy called Llama Wrangler. I was right on my money. <laughs> what the flark is that? Definitely not a monster. <laughs> That's great. I love this haircut. It's more mad than an We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. Oh, leave him alone. Maybe we use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. <laughs> I well, want Groot's team. Protect us. Musclehead's the one who rushed to the first thing that came through the door. <laughs> My head is not made of muscle. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, you guys seeing what I'm seeing? So um, we're not counting the space llama as an enemy, so we still have not seen an enemy with a face. Oh, this kind of has a face. Actually, it only has a mouth. It doesn't really have a face. All right. Enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's Sick. get paid. Uh, oh, this is a boss fight. Oakley Doakley. Let's do this. Oh. What in hell's name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. <laughs> it just killed it. That's funny. Gave us a health bar and everything. Crew <laughs> carrying the thing. <laughs> I freaking love it. Oh, there's like three of those things. Damn. Oh, we're controlling this. That's interesting. How does this work? Hit the music. This is going to be quiet. <laughs> it's still silent. I'm not sure what we're doing. I am holding my buttocks as Peter Quill instructed. There goes an arm. <laughs> this is ridiculous. There's no uh, no audio at all. Heads up! 
doing my best. I'm not really sure what we're. Assassin. My control over this Don't is very limited. That's it. Let me drive. You're gonna get us killed. We're not dead yet. Maybe we are, and this is hell. Do not be ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost of Sarduf. Your hell is frozen. Tathians do not like to be cold. <laughs> Try putting on a shirt. See? He's so I'm not really sure if I'm meant to be shooting anything, but we're gonna... Jesus. Oh, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Ow, we're not good. Okay, we are gonna keep shooting. Just in case there's mines. Please stop adding things while I'm asleep! Punch it, Peter! Now is not the time for hand-to-hand -hand combat. I don't know if I'm meant to be shooting any other stuff. Oh, fuck yeah! Definitely a fan of the blue button! There's Scott on all sides. We ain't gonna make it! We'll make it! Maybe! This is cool. Exit. See? Hold stretch! Because <laughs> I don't have much juice left, but I just have to keep turning it on That's and off. What I call a win, How's that there we a go. Win? Our monster just got eaten. Whatever you can fly away from means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. <laughs> good logic. Good logic. Oh, this can't be good. Uh, please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. It's going to be Novacore. Nova <laughs> hey, that was good. <laughs> I enjoyed that. That was a fun intro. So. It's a patrol ship. Designation? Hallis Hope. Uh, did you say Hallis Hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays <laughs> on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Uh, not really. No. <laughs> That's because what? they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. <laughs> oh, we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. He could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is going to hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. There we go. Peter, Jason, Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, Corell. How you doing? How long has it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corell. I swear, it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Come on, Corell. You know me. We've been to hell and back. Sure, I've done some shady stuff since the war. Like, really shady stuff. But junking? I just caught you pink-handed, leaving the quarantine zone. Technically, yes, but we weren't scavenging. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill of Planet C-53, <laughs> under Galactic Law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? <laughs> what? Please tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? <laughs> what? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! 
The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a class three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide the creature. We're, we're the keeping llama. the creature safe. What, what about my stuff? Fuck <laughs> it, I know Corel. I'm pretty sure I can get her to go easy on us about the tech, but a potential biohazard? Man, I'm good, but I'm not that good. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, we were close. You just have to trust me. He had me. like a, a Brooklyn accent for a, for a second one. Co-op. 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 Co-op? Co-op? I can't do it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacor licensing permit 67398-2. Oh, Gardeners cool hat. That was sarcasm, by the way. No. Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. <laughs> Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero. Often grumpy. <laughs> Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. <laughs> That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry. Excuse me, I just need to. Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? Huh. Future berries right look here. strange. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the core? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I Sick should bun. check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. <laughs> No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Not to go, prisoners. Oh, okay. Well, my plan was to hang on. Watch the jacket. Oh. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First. No, we need to. Okay, so this is gonna be. Yeah, we we're gonna do it. Do is... This one. <laughs> so this is gonna be another episode. Um. And when I come back, we're going to be mid-conversation, probably. So, uh, that'll be fun. Um, oh, should we, like, see the end of this scene before I call it? How long has it been? 44 minutes. I mean, we should probably... No, let's, let's, let's go to the end of the cutscene. Let's go to the end, like, of the talking. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate life. Not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. Illegal. Stop helping. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be. Here. I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very, very close friends with the captain. Uh huh. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes. No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. Okay. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier Breaker. Like Leader of the Church of Universal something. 
<laughs> he was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. Oh wait, is he gold? I know the captain. I can't remember what they're called, but... Just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Just to be no, super clear on the mom. That. Oh, damn. Wait, we're in handcuffs. This isn't clever. God. Quick time events as well, of course. Mashing. <laughs> okay, I don't think I need to be as crazy on that. So this is where we're leaving it. <laughs> so that was a very fun episode, actually. Um, so to double down on what I was saying earlier, um, the like the huddle uh, mechanic, like obviously without streamer mode on, you would get like a classic song playing whilst you're doing that. But because streaming mode is on, you get absolutely nothing. Uh, it would have been cool if they had just had some like generic music in the background like or like some you know non-licensed music as an alternative to the licensed music to play during that because obviously that's supposed to be like a big moment and obviously you want the soundtrack to kick off which is what it's supposed to do but with streamer mode on it just falls silent and it feels kind of awkward like it's actually more impactful before you activate the team huddle um so yeah, like that's that's a flaw with the streaming mode. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm glad it's here still. Um, it's just it could be like refined a little bit more, um, especially for a game where the music is actually quite central to like you know the experience. Um, but nonetheless, um, I still had ver a lot of fun in this episode. Um, the combat's still very good. We still have yet to face an enemy with a face. Um, <laughs> We're going to uh, we're going to keep keep track of that. Continue to keep track with that. Um, I'm sure at some point we'll face something with a face, but um, at the moment it's all just been like faceless cubes and circles and various crazy looking shapes. Um, yeah, the humors had a few really good moments. Um, absolutely in love with the space llama immediately. Um, so it, I'm very much ride or die with the. Uh, with the space llama like he's uh he's gonna be staying in my life forever <laughs> um if i if i have to sacrifice rocket to keep the space llama that's what's gonna happen um, <laughs> and yeah no i like all of the different like guardian abilities the way that they interact with the different enemies and stuff um very cool very cool indeed um and i'm very much looking forward to the next episode to see what's you know going on who in the hex attacking the nova core um or whether it was just a random malfunction i don't know but i'm assuming we're under attack that's what makes the most sense um so yeah this has been episode two of guardians of the galaxy uh thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one farewell <laughs>